Welcome back everyone, hope you are well. Today I'm going to show you something really cool that a subscriber pointed out to me about how to manage your Vim script snippets. So if you've seen my uh, my VimRC on this channel or in my dot files before, you might be aware that I've had a lot of Vim script snippets at the bottom of my VimRC. Now, I didn't, I don't, I didn't keep too many of them after I moved to Ulti Snips because of the just the sheer power of the tab, uh, the tab stop and uh, Python interpolation, and you can actually still call Bash and Vim script all from those things. Um, I prefer Ulti Snips, but there are some things that just work better with Vim script snippets, or that just were commands that I was so used to, and I just wanted to keep them around. So I actually still had um, a few few snippets um, left in Vim script. So somebody pointed out a really good way of managing them in their own separate files. So you can see right here, the only thing I have, um, actually I don't even have any more in here. This isn't even LaTeX code snippets, it's really just something for VimTech. But all the way up in some of my options, you are gonna need file type plugin on. This allows file type detection. And so what this does is if I'm in this R file, it's just uh, a normal R file, it's empty, we're good. If I opened up um, ulti snips, you can see I have uh, snippets for this R file. If I did a shebang, I can do that. And then I can do something like library. So let's do a couple of those. I could just do shebang. tab, and it completes that, lib for library, tab, and then I can just do ggplot, to tab, tab, I'm out, cool. So those are my ulti snips, uh, snippets. So I'm currently also in the uh, .config neovim ft plugin directory. So I made this ft plugin directory, and then inside this directory are a bunch of files that are the file type that they coincide with, and they end in .vim because these are vim script snippet files. So if I open up the one for r.vim, then I only have one specifically r snippet in this file because I'm not gonna do this in r markdown documents, but in r documents, I can do something where I have it create a vertical split with a terminal and it runs R for me. So this is in Vim script. This is not in ulti snips because I don't think ulti snips could do something like this unless it calls Vim script and it was just easier just to keep it in Vim script for this in this particular example. So I'm going to run that example now. It's an endo remap, so I'm in normal mode. Now if I do comma T, it crashes on me. So let me actually just get out of Ranger. I think that's why the test and then comma t there we go a terminal split running r so that is how i'm currently managing my vim script uh, snippets i do love and prefer ulti snips as much as possible but certain things i did just keep in vim script for instance i write um I use Luke's LB system for uh, my blog on my website. I had to modify it for some of the HTML tags I'm using uh, for styling purposes, but a lot of the stuff I write in that are are in Vim, and I didn't want to have to actually make uh, separate ulti snips for each of them, or actually maybe I just should. But for instance, what I have in my like my HTML snippets are a bunch of like beginning three characters for each of the colors because I do something where I will actually use span elements to colorize my code with Grovebox colors because I don't want to embed any sort of like JavaScript library that does something like have markdown syntax code highlighting. I can just do it myself. If it's, if it's worth putting up there and actually writing out the code instead of just linking to something on GitHub, then I'm probably going to make it nice to look at. And that's only if you're even on my site. And in general, this clean one is for uh, some errors I'm having at the LB script I haven't fixed yet, and so it just cleans up some stuff. But that is how I'm currently managing my snippets. So thank you to the subscriber that pointed that out. All you have to do is make these FT, make this FT plugin directory in your .config and Vim, and then make all of your file types 
So like I have tech, I have RMD, R, VimWiki, Markdown, etc. Make your file types .vim and put your Vim script snippets in there. Now the cool thing about that is something else this user pointed out to me is um, dot, let's just do HTML again. Is because you are in a file type detected plugin Vim script uh, file. That means you don't need to detect the file type and do any of the other stuff that typically comes before, like anything else. All you need to do is say, you know, Vino remap leader, like wh whatever your snippet is and like what mode you want to bind your characters in. And that's it. There's no detecting a file type because the file type has already been detected by file type on. And that that is it. This is how I'm managing my Vim script snippets alongside ulti snips, and that allows me to have a very good and robust system for managing my snippets. So again, thank you to the subscriber that pointed that out to me. I love it when you guys recommend stuff for me to try and improve my workflow. This is definitely one of those cool ones that helps me you know, have a separation of concerns for different languages and the snippets for those languages. Um, I do like having everything separated out this way, so this was really helpful. Um, before I go, thank you, a quick shout out to my patrons. Thank you, Alberto and Devin for supporting the channel and to everyone else. I will see you next time.